Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be. It's your first Dutch lesson in our new house, and I have a clock right next to me. So, if you couldn't guess, we're going to learn how to tell the time. I'm going to bring you in closer to the clock face so that you can actually read it. This is a clock that my dad actually made for me when I was little. It's, I don't know, about 25 years old or something by now. But it's just a total, it's just a, a toy wooden clock. It was designed for children so that they could learn the time and they could learn the days of the week, the days of the week down the bottom. You can't see those. And uh, this was for something else, but I can't find the mouse that runs down it. I have a little wooden mouse and he's supposed to run down the clock. I can't find him. I've looked through the whole house. But anyway, we're going to use my dad's clock to learn to tell the time. So I'm going to bring it in close to the clock face. And uh, we'll have a go at doing this lesson. So the easiest way to tell the time in Dutch is to actually have an analog clock face. Well, to learn to tell the time in Dutch is to have an analog clock face. And the clock face you need to divide into four quarters. So we're going to draw an imaginary line down the middle. And we're also going to draw an imaginary line this way so that the clock is divided into your four quarters. And the first quarter of the clock is where we count past the hour. So at the moment it is 12 uur. And then when the big finger moves to the one position, it is 5 over 12. And the big finger moves again to the two position, it is 10 over 12. We move to three, it is a quart over twelve. So from one minute past twelve until fourteen minutes past twelve, we count eight over twelve, twee over twelve, three over twelve, vier over twelve, five over twelve, when the finger touches the number one, six over twelve, seven over twelve, acht over twelve, negen over twelve, 10 over 12, 11 over 12, 12 over 12, 13 over 12, and 14 over 12, and then when we get to 12, 15, it is quite over 12. Do we understand that part of the clock already? So we're counting past the hour. And then when we get to 16 minutes past 12, we're going to start to count towards the bottom of the next quarter. So we're going to start counting towards half n. So this being 12.30 is actually half, we say half n, and that basically means halfway to 1. So we need to learn to count between quart of the twelfth and half n. So quart of the twelfth, and then we do sixteen minutes past is actually fourteen minutes for half n. So you're deducting time. We're actually saying that it's fourteen minutes before. Halfway to one. Complicated, I know, but that's how we tell the time. 14 minutes for half a. So we're deducting 14 minutes, 13 minutes, 12 minutes, 11 minutes, 10 minutes. It is now 10 minutes for half a. Dan gaan we naar 9 minuten, 8 minuten, 7 minuten, 6 minuten, 5 minuten. 5 minuten voor half 1. It's 5 minutes before halfway to 1. Then we're getting to our half 1. Yes, the clock says 12.30, but it's actually halfway to 1 in Dutch. And then there's the next quarter of the clock. So we're going to start counting past the half, half a point. So it's 
Do it. If I can turn the fingers. Look, let me use the finger. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now it is five minutes over half eight. It's five minutes past the halfway to one point. So we're counting from half eight. Eén minuut over half één, twee minuten over half één, drie minuten over half één, vier minuten over half één, vijf minuten over half één. En you get the, you should have learned counting from the last Dutch lesson, so I'm not going to go all the way through this quarter. When we get to quarter to one, we stop counting past the halfway to one point, and we can't start counting to the one o'clock point. So it's now quart for één. It's quarter to one. And then it's logical, the last quarter of the clock is logical. Quart for, quart for 1, 14 minuten for 1, 12 minuten for 1, 11 minuten for 1, 10 minuten for 1. Move the fingers again. 10 minuten for 1, it's 10 minutes before 1. Uh, move the finger one more time. Is five minutes for one, and then it's one o'clock, an hour. So that's basically how you use the clock to tell the time. The first quarter, the upper right quarter, we can pass the hour. So a minute over till quarter over the hour. And then we start counting towards the halfway point, so halfway towards the next hour, half eight. So we count 14 minutes for half eight, uh, to half eight. And we go down 14, 13, 12, 11, and so forth. Then we go to the bottom left quarter of the quarter clock, and we're counting past the halfway point. So it's uh, eight minutes over half eight. Twee minuten over half één, up until kwart voor één, which is when it's quarter to one. And then the upper left quarter of the clock, we count, start counting towards the hour again. So we're counting uh, 14 minuten voor één, 12, 11, 10, until it gets to eight hour, which is one o'clock. I really hope that makes sense. <laughs> it's complicated. But that's the way it goes. Half eight is actually 12.30. Half two is actually 1.30. Half three is 2.30. Half four is 3.30. Half five is 3.30. Half six is five thirty. Half seven is six thirty. Half eight is seven thirty. Half nine is eight thirty. Half ten is nine thirty. Half elf is ten thirty. Half twelf is eleven thirty. Okay, so that was your lesson in telling the time. It's really something that I still struggle with now after speaking Dutch for almost four years. So I don't expect that you'll be able to do it right away, but with practice you'll get it. Uh, if you want to know how to write all of the things that I've been saying in Dutch, I will write the list of how to tell the time on our forum at www.justcommit.eu. So yeah, if you want to learn to write uh, what time it is, then I will have that list for you on the forum so that you guys can go look. The one more thing I forgot to mention is if you want to ask what the time is, then we say, who laat is it? How, what time is it? Who laat is it? I will put that one down there in the bottom of the screen. That one's easy to do. Who laat is it? Um, yeah, 
that should have dressed up for this week. I hope it made a bit of sense. I know it's really complicated. And uh, we'll see you again in two weeks' time. Until then, be good. And if you can't be good, just learn how to tell the time. Bye, guys.